Let's denote the given pair of straight lines by equation 1. Note that these lines pass through the origin. And therefore, let's assume that the equations of these two straight lines are y is equal to m1x and y is equal to m2x. Therefore, the joint equation of this pair of straight lines is y minus m1x times y minus m2x is equal to 0. This can be written as y square minus in brackets m1 plus m2 times xy plus m1 m2 times x square is equal to 0. Let's denote this by equation 2. Now both equations 1 and 2 represent the same pair of straight lines. Therefore, the ratio of the coefficients of y square in the two equations that is 1 upon b, is equal to the ratio of the coefficients of xy, that is minus of m1 plus m2, upon 2h, is equal to the ratio of the coefficients of x square, that is m1 m2, upon a. Therefore, m1 plus m2 is equal to minus 2h upon b, and m1 times m2 is equal to a upon b. Now the length of the perpendicular from the point x dash y dash onto the line y minus m1 x is equal to 0, let's denote it by p1, is equal to y minus m1 x where x is equal to x dash and y is equal to y dash divided by the square root of the sum of the squares of the coefficients of x and y in the equation of the line y minus m1 x is equal to 0. Therefore, p1 is equal to y dash minus m1 times x dash divided by the square root of 1 plus m1 square. Similarly, the perpendicular distance p2 from the point x dash y dash onto the line y minus m2 x is equal to 0 can be written as y dash minus m2 times x dash divided by the square root of 1 plus m2 square taking the product of p1 and p2 we get y dash minus m1 x dash upon square root of 1 plus m1 square times y dash minus m2 x dash divided by square root of 1 plus m2 square. And this is equal to y dash square minus in brackets m1 plus m2 times x dash y dash plus m1 m2 x dash square divided by the square root of 1 plus in brackets m1 square plus m2 square plus m1 m2 whole square. This can also be written as y dash square minus in brackets m1 plus m2 times x dash y dash plus m1 m2 times x dash square divided by the square root of 1 plus m1 plus m2 whole square minus 2 m1 m2 plus m1 m2 whole square. Now we have obtained earlier that m1 plus m2 is equal to minus 2h upon b and m1 times m2 is equal to a upon b. Substituting these results, the value of p1 times p2 is equal to y dash square minus minus of 2h upon b 
times x dash y dash plus a upon b times x dash square divided by the square root of 1 plus 4h square upon b square minus 2a upon b plus a square upon b square. Now this can be written as 1 upon b times in brackets b y dash square plus 2h times x dash y dash plus a times x dash square divided by square root of b square plus 4h square minus 2ab plus a square divided by b square. 1 upon b cancels across the numerator and the denominator and therefore p1 times p2 is equal to a x dash square plus 2h times x dash y dash plus b times y dash square divided by the square root of a square minus 2ab plus b square plus 4h square and this can also be written as a x dash square plus 2h times x dash y dash plus b times y dash square divided by the square root of a minus b whole square plus 4h square and this is the required result.